Yo guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you the best PC optimization guide for the new Simpson season in Fortnite. I'm going to go through everything that you can do to boost your FPS, lower your input delay and give you an overall smoother game. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. The first thing we're going to be optimizing is our Fortnite settings. So to do this, open up your Fortnite settings. The first thing you want to make sure you're doing is playing on full screen mode. I'm playing on windowed full screen right now just to record this video. But make sure you do play on full screen mode and make sure you apply this. Make sure your VSync is turned off. You don't want this as it does cause a lot of input delay in game. So make sure this is turned off. Make sure your frame rate limit is set to your monitor's refresh rate or one above. Personally, I prefer going on the actual refresh rate. But if you want to go one above, you can also do that. Rendering mode, we're going to be putting this. If you're on Nvidia, you're going to put this on legacy performance. And if you're on AMD, you're going to be putting this on the new performance mode. I'm on Nvidia, so I play it on the legacy performance mode as this works better for me. But if you're on AMD, make sure you go on the new one. Graphics, you want your brightness on whatever you want. You can just change all this to how you like it. And then if you scroll down, you'll see all of these. If you're on performance mode, you want to make sure that everything is on near and low. And once you've done that, scroll down to the very bottom and make sure Nvidia Reflex low latency is on on plus boost. And once you've done that, click apply. It'll ask you to restart. I'm not going to do this because I'm just recording this video, but make sure you click restart and then you can load your game back up and those are your Fortnite settings fully optimized. The next thing we're going to be doing is closing Fortnite and heading over to our desktop. And on here, we're going to be searching for the Nvidia control panel and opening this up. And then inside here on the left hand side, you're going to head up to adjust image settings with preview. Click this bottom option here and drag this all the way down to performance and click apply. Once you've applied this, click use the advanced 3D image settings and click apply again. And then you want to click the blue writing that says take me there. And we're going to be changing some of the settings inside here to give us the best performance in game. The first one you're going to want to do is click on anti-aliasing gamma correction and make sure this is turned off. Then scroll down a little bit until you see low latency mode and make sure this is turned on. Then head on down to monitor technology and make sure this is on fixed refresh. Then you'll see right here, OpenGL rendering GPU. Make sure you select your graphics card for this. And then just above that, GDI compatibility. Make sure this is on preferred performance. Then scroll under that and you'll see power management mode. Make sure this is on preferred maximum performance. Then just underneath that, you'll see shader cache size. Make sure you set this to 10 gigabytes. This works best for Fortnite. Make sure you don't go any higher. So make sure it's on 10 gigabytes. Texture filtering, negative LOD bias. Make sure this is on clamp. Texture filtering quality. Make sure it's set to high performance. Texture filtering, trilinear optimization. Turn this off. Vertical sync. Make sure this is turned off. And then threaded optimization is also off. And once you've done that, you just need to click apply. The screen will go black for a second, but it'll come back on. And once you've applied it, you want to head on over to the left here and click on configure surround physics and make sure your physics processor is set to your graphics card and not your CPU. Also make sure it's not set to auto, make sure it's set to your graphics card. Click apply once you've done that and you can exit off your Nvidia control panel. But before I do go any further with this video, I just want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by Risen Tweaks. Risen Tweaks is a tweaking optimization service where you can get all of these different tweaks on screen for very cheap prices. And if you use my code when checking out, you get 15% off your order. So the tweaks are even cheaper. So make sure you go and check that out. I'll leave the link in the description. And by using these extreme tweaks right here for $30, I actually gained a 30% performance boost by just using these tweaks, so I would definitely go and recommend checking those out in the description. But back to the video, the next thing we're going to be doing is clicking Windows I on our keyboard to open up our settings, head over to System, and the first thing we're going to be doing on here is clicking on Notifications, and make sure your notifications are turned off, then head back one and head on down to Focus, and make sure all of these boxes are turned off, so just make sure they don't have a tick in them. Then head back and scroll all the way down to about. And then on here, scroll down until you see advanced system settings. This box will pop up. You want to click settings right here. On here, you want to click adjust for best performance, custom. And then in here, all you need is smooth edges of screen fonts, show thumbnails instead of icons. And personally, I like having animate windows when minimizing and maximizing, as it just makes them look a bit nicer when you're closing and opening tabs. You don't need this, you only need these two. But if you want that one, you can. Once you've done that, click apply OK, and you can close off your settings. The next thing we're going to be doing is searching for the control panel and opening this up. And inside here, head over to ease of access, click on ease of access center. And right here where it says make the mouse easier to use, click on this, click set up mouse keys, 
and make sure acceleration is dragged all the way down to slow. Once you've done that, click apply. And the next thing you're gonna do is search for mouse, open up mouse settings. Inside here, scroll down until you see additional mouse settings. Head over to pointer options and make sure enhanced pointer precision is turned off. Once you've done that, apply this, click OK, and you can close off all of these settings. Now, the last thing we're going to be doing to make our game run a lot smoother is heading over to our Epic Games Launcher, going onto the library, clicking the three dots on Fortnite, clicking Manage, and verifying our files. This will get rid of any corrupt files that are in our game files, and it'll reset them all, making them brand new, so our game runs much smoother next time we load it up. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. I do hope you did enjoy and I do hope this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And if you guys want a personal tweaking session with me, make sure to join my Discord. I'll leave that link in the description. And don't forget to go and check out Risen Tweaks. They'll also be in the description. But thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.